Hola everyone, today we're making charro beans, also known as cowboy beans. And that's why I have my little hat on today, because uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little fun with that. Charro beans, if you haven't had them before, you're not familiar with them, they are basically whole pinto beans that we're gonna cook in a broth with some spices and we're gonna add some heat to it, but not too much. I like to keep it kind of simple so that everybody can enjoy them like kids, right? But if you like a little heat, feel free to just bump it up. You can do that. These beans are great if you want to change up and use them instead of refried beans, for example. If you're serving up some Mexican food, these are a great change of pace. Or you can serve them up just as they are, as a, even as a, a main dish with some flour tortillas. And I have a recipe for you if you wanna make some homemade flour tortillas. I'll leave a link for you in the description of the video. Check that out. This recipe is going to be made in the Instant Pot, so they come together very quickly. Say within an hour they're gonna cook. So that's, you know, like twice as fast as normal. Uh, and it's, it's super easy. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after this. So let's go over our ingredients, shall we? First up, we have our pinto beans. These are dried pinto beans, and what you wanna do is you wanna pour them out onto a flat surface and kind of just go through them. What you're looking for are rocks. They don't usually have them in there, but occasionally they, they sneak in, all right? And you don't want those in your beans because if somebody bites on it, who knows what'll happen. Anyway, so do that. Give them a rinse after you sort through them and drain out the water and then they're good to go. Next up is our bacon. Now what you wanna do here is just take your slices of bacon and just cut them very thin into small bite-sized pieces. We'll need some chicken broth, I've got some fire roasted canned tomatoes here. You see those little black bits in there? That just adds extra flavor. We'll need a half of a yellow onion, finely diced. I like the super fine dice in this, just so you get a little bit of onion everywhere and you don't get those big chunks. Now this is my secret ingredient. I think you have to have this in this recipe to really make it taste the best. And that is our chipotle chili peppers in adobo sauce. So this brand that I've got right here is gluten-free. For those of you that like to you know, eat gluten-free, you wanna pick out maybe a brand like this, read the labels because sometimes they contain gluten. Now what you wanna do with these is cut them open if you don't want this too hot and remove the seeds from the pepper. And be really careful not to touch your face while you're doing this. And then we're gonna add a couple of teaspoons of just the sauce without any seeds in it. Next up I have some green chilies and our spices are, we have some ground ancho chili powder. I have some garlic powder ground cumin, a couple of bay leaves, and some salt. So before we get started, I just wanted to bring to your attention that I am now selling merch. So that means I'm selling t-shirts and mugs, uh, just like this one here. These, I have a couple here that I can show you. Uh, if you wanna support my channel, you know, that's one way to do it. Uh, this is a little saying here that uh, it's gotta be hot to be good. Works with this recipe, right? It's gotta be a little bit hot, not too hot. And this one says, uh, it's delicious and nutritious and it'll make you ambitious. So I just want to bring that to your attention. It's below the video if you want to check it out. So we're going to set our Instant Pot to saute. And we're going to put our bacon into the, into the pot. And we're going to cook this, I don't know, somewhere six or seven, eight minutes, something like that. That way it will brown up and, and render some of its oil or grease from the bacon. And then we're going to add our onions to that. Now, depending on how much uh, grease your bacon has or how much fat it has in it, you might get a lot of grease in the pan or you might not get that much. So if you get a lot and you feel like that's too much, you can drain some of it out, but I would definitely leave some in there because when we, we'll need it for when we cook the onion. All right, so as you can see in here, there's not a lot of fat that's rendering out, but there is some, but not a lot, not an excessive amount. And it's been about four minutes, so I'm gonna add the onions to the pot now. And I'm gonna cook this, you know, another four, about four minutes. And you wanna keep stirring it and keep an eye on it. You don't want it to stick. All right, so now I've sauteed this for about, I would say nine minutes total, and I'm ready to just, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so we're gonna place uh, about a cup of chicken broth into our blender. I'm gonna add that chipotle pepper with the uh, adobo sauce in there. 
Next goes our green chilies. The ancho chili powder, the ground cumin, the garlic powder, and the salt. And we're gonna whirl this away. Okay, it's time to put our beans in the pot. So I'm gonna toss those in. Pour in our sauce, and you can see this is nice, beautiful color. Now, you notice that there's a lot of stuff left in my blender, and I wanna get all of that out of there and get it in the pot. So I'm gonna use the rest of the chicken broth to sort of rinse out my blender. Give it a little swirl, and then just get all that extra stuff in there. Now my lid has quite a bit as well, so I'm gonna do the same thing. go. Now we'll toss in the bay leaves. Now you notice I didn't put the fire roasted uh, tomatoes in yet. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that and the salt out until this cooks about halfway. So we're going to put this on pressure cook. I actually have a bean chili uh, setting here. Let's get our lid on first. Just make sure that your vent is on seal. Then we'll turn on our instant pot. I'm going to use the bean chili setting. You can just use pressure cooker, whatever you want. And I'm going to set this for 20. I'm going to just go 21 minutes. It must be that time. That's chef joke time, right? You ready? Here we go. What do you get when you cross a young cow with a coffee bean grower? Decaf. <laughs> All right, so the timer went off on our beans and after 21 minutes, so now I'm gonna uh, manually um, release the pressure on this and then I can add the, the canned tomatoes and the salt back in and we'll cook it for another 20, about 20 minutes. All right, so let's give this a stir and we'll see how well, the beans are not quite done yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my tomatoes and that salt. Give it a stir, and then like I said, we're gonna go back in for 20 more minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna let it, the pressure release on its own. So I'm not going to be forcing it like I just did. So we'll just let it go. And it'll probably take 15, 20 minutes. So I let the beans just, you know, manually depressurize, that's what you wanna call it, for about 20 minutes, and then I got tired of waiting. So I just ended it right there and just did it myself. So here we go, this is what this looks like. Let me give this a stir and you can see this, it's just beautiful. It's, all the beans are definitely done and uh, yeah, it smells incredible. All right, so I'm gonna serve some up into my bowl here. Look at that, beautiful color. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's a soup. It's essentially like a soup. And then, I'm gonna to top mine with a little cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, do it anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you can use parsley or you can just do without. But it just gives it a nice little greenery, you know, look to it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna let that cool for a second because I don't wanna burn my, my lips. <laughs> So many different flavors going on. There's a lot of stuff in there. Those flavors, it's very, um, it's hearty. It's really delicious. It's really good. It's a great uh, alternative to, like I said, refried beans. Give this a try. You're going to love it. So now you need some flour tortillas to go with our charro beans, right? Homemade ones, right? And I have a link for you. For my recipe, I'm going to leave it right here. Go ahead and click that. Go try out those homemade flour tortillas. You're going to love it with this. It's going to be heavenly. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment, all right? We'll see you next time.